A man recently died after going to a hospital in Edmonton, Canada with chest pain. His family says the signs were missed. The hospital says care followed protocol. Today, let's talk about STEMI versus non-STEMI and what actually happens when you walk into an ER with chest pain. Now, his outcome is different than my outcome. He collapsed after eight hours waiting in the ER. Not all heart attacks look the same. STEMI stands for ST elevation myocardial infarction. It's a heart attack. Do an EKG where ST is elevated. That shows the doctor that there's an active heart attack happening. A STEMI classic EKG changes, a blocked artery, rush to the cath lab. A non-STEMI, that's the quiet one. The EKG can look normal. The damage shows up later on blood tests called troponin. When the ER does an EKG, if it shows up as a STEMI, they're going to be taken to the cath lab. The non-STEMI, when it doesn't show up in the EKG, KG. It's not that obvious that you might be having a heart attack. When you are in the ER with chest pain, usually you'll get an EKG within 10 minutes. The case in Edmonton, I think that's what happened. Then blood work for troponin is ordered. That did not happen, most likely because the EKG showed a non-STEMI. That doesn't mean that he was not having a heart attack. Here's the key part most people don't know. Early normal tests does not rule out a non-STEMI and that time matters. So I understand the frustration of the family members because based on their statements, the patient was complaining of severe chest pain throughout his eight hours wait. So in my experience as a ER nurse, when we triage a patient and he comes in or she comes in with chest pain, the initial assessment, we're going to do an EKG. We're so also going to look at and see how he's presented. Is he sweating? Is his blood pressure elevated? So we don't know though what the situation was. The hospital response said that the hospital was extremely busy. And that's the case for most emergency rooms. This isn't about blame. It's about understanding the risk. If the chest pain changes or comes back or it's continuous, is be the squeaky wheel and talk to your triage nurse, triage doctor, and ask them if a possible troponin can be done. I'm sorry this happened to the gentleman. We don't know exactly why he collapsed, so they will do a full investigation. 